So, you install Arch, not for work, not for productivity, not even because you know what you're doing. You installed Arch because you saw a screenshot that looked like a hacker's dream. Clean terminal, glowy fonts, anime wallpaper, and a bar that faded in like it was powered by magic. Or maybe you wanted to wear thigh-high socks, post a screenshot, and say, I use Arch, by the way. And honestly, no one can stop you. You felt the call of Unix porn. You thought it would be simple. Install a WM, change the wallpaper, tweak a config file or two, and boom, aesthetic desktop achieved, right? That's when it begins. Stage one, denial. At first, it's smooth. You get the install done. You even boot into your desktop feeling proud like you just climbed a mountain. You install i3, or maybe Hyperland if you're feeling brave. You slap on a wallpaper from Unix porn, install a couple fonts. You even learn what a dot .config folder is. It feels like you're in control, like you're the main character, but that doesn't last long. One day, the terminal opens with the wrong font. Your bar disappears. Your wallpaper resets after reboot. And now, for some reason, every app is two pixels too big. Now you're in stage two, anger. You try to fix one thing, and three others break. You switch from polybar to ew, then back to polybar. You try a new compositor, it crashes your session. You edit a config file, and suddenly lose all your keybinds. Nothing feels consistent. Every tutorial you follow is either outdated or too advanced. You sit there, scrolling through GitHub repos, hoping someone else figured it out, and copy-pasting code like your life depends on it. You start blaming your system. You think, this is why people use Windows. But deep down, you still believe you can fix it. That's when stage three, bargaining begins. You start making deals with yourself. If I can just fix the gaps between windows, I'll stop ricing. If I get the transparency to look right, that's it. I'll never touch the config again. But you do, you always do. You spend hours tweaking font sizes, switching between color schemes, testing which terminal emulator looks the cleanest. Because now it's not about usability, it's personal. You want your desktop to feel like you, but it never feels quite done. Eventually, your system breaks. Like, fully breaks. No GUI, just a blinking cursor. And you enter stage four, depression. You sit there, staring at the black void. Nothing works. You forgot to back up your configs. You don't even remember what compositor you were using. It feels like you've wasted hours, maybe days, just chasing the perfect rice. And now, you're back at square one. You consider giving up. You think about switching to something stable. Install GNOME. Maybe even Debian. Let someone else handle the rice. Let it go. But something in you refuses. You wipe the system. Start clean. This time slower. Smarter. You learn what each config file actually does. You stop blindly copying dot files. You test things. Read the docs. Watch videos. You finally get it. And now, you've reached stage five. Acceptance. Your rice is clean, your font is sharp, your bar fades in like a movie intro, your keybinds feel natural, your terminal looks like a portal to the matrix. You've added just enough animations to make it feel alive, but not enough to break your system. You don't even open apps anymore. You just open NeoFetch and Vibe. Sometimes you stare at your desktop for five minutes like it's art. You post a screenshot online. Someone asks, what distro is that? You smile quietly to yourself because you know the answer. But honestly, whether you're tweaking your desktop or diving into cybersecurity, it's all about the same thing. Taking control, learning how stuff works under the hood, not settling for good enough. I made a beginner-friendly guide that breaks down the basics. No boring theory, just practical stuff you can actually use. So if you want to go from zero to hacking hero, check out the guide linked below. It's perfect for anyone who's ready to stop just using computers and start mastering them.